today we have the Immersion Reader 7 figure drive suit. This is the 2017 model. I got this in December 2016, just before it was available to buy, and I have been using it ever since. Um, if I was on holiday, I'd probably be using it pretty much every single day. Um, normal weeks, I'd use it usually for freestyle or flat water session once a week in the winter, and the weekend, if there was water, both days. So far, the suit has been pretty flawless. I know that sounds like a, a bit of a cliche because every single review comes out that way. IR took the seven figure suit, which was pretty good, um, but it had its faults, and they lined it up with other brands, which you're not supposed to mention, but you can see that there has been some good influence from other white water brands. So you have extra details, like the, the drainage on the wrist, which is pretty nice. All the outer seal protectors are now neoprene cones. They're all nicely stitched. There's no raw neoprene edges. And yeah, the suit is all nicely finished all over. They took the webbing waist belt, which was on last year's Arch Rival, which was really, really popular with anyone that actually used it. The cool thing about the seven figure fabric is the shell fabric, the stuff on the top, is polyester. And polyester is really good because it doesn't really get wet. Um, a lot of the other companies you'll see using a nylon based fabric. Nylon's good, it's nice and tough. Polyester is more expensive, but because it doesn't get wet, it doesn't get heavy, and the membrane in your suit is able to do its job and help you breathe and wick away sweat. So at the end of the day, it should be drier underneath because you haven't sweated, and your suit will be nice and light, which should dry quicker overall. The way the suit is cut is is awesome. I don't feel that my range of motion is impeded in any way. The zip is nice and flexible. It's one of these plastic zips. I do not see any reason to get the old style brass zippers these days. We're not really putting the suits down to the same pressure levels as diving dry suits. Um, and these ones are just so much more flexible. You don't need to worry about bending them when you're packing up. You would be foolish to buy a brass zip these days. Also, for the 2017 model, I are managed to take a lot of the excess fabric and the excess air of it out of the suit. They say this makes the suit warmer. It might do, I think. Layering up properly is probably a much more reliable way of making sure you're warm, but the, you can definitely see that there's less material and less baggy excess material than the last suit, so no subtle improvement. After a while in the suit, using it day in day out, you can really tell that a lot of thought and a lot of love and care and attention has gone into designing this suit. It's obviously been designed by people that are actually kayaking. There's uh, a few suits I've seen on the market while they are popular. Um, they're designed by sailing companies and things like that. They have massive wrist closures which are really bulky, probably get in the way, probably hit your spray deck as you're taking paddle strokes. Um, massive neck seals, this just seems a lot more trim, a lot more to the point and focused on performance rather than making a suit cost effective. When I first got this suit it was just the start of the 2016 Christmas holidays. I used it pretty much every day between Christmas and New Year and a few other days as well. Um, I put it on first thing in the morning just uh, up to the waist. I drove to the river in it and zipped it up. Um, I unzipped it between rivers. Um, I drove home in it. By the time I got home, it was pretty much dry anyway. Um, it was comfy enough to wear all day. I didn't really feel like I was sweating at all. The biggest test of the suit was probably my expedition to the Huma Karnali in Nepal in November, December of last year. Um, we were on the river for what? All in all, it must have been around a 10 day expedition. Um, it involved a lot of walking. There's very little damage to my suit after you know over a year's worth of paddling, which is pretty impressive. 
I'm just going to show you the damage because, you know, why just see it? I'll give you some hard evidence. So we have some discoloring of the fabric, which is more because it's got in the muck or anything like that. We have a bit of wear here and a bit of wear on where the zipper is, which is more because I've fallen over rather than any real reason. And of course it hasn't gone all the way through. A big area of wear for the all dry suits is the socks. And that's probably where you can see the most damage. But once again, it's just at the seams. There's plenty of seam tape covering all these bits. Maybe a little bit there. And on the other foot, you can see similar wear. On the front of the suit, a little bit of discoloring. Same down here. No real damage at the knees, no real scuffs or anything. Same with the seat of the suit. I don't think it's fair to say that any suit or anything is ever perfect. So there are things about this that I don't really like, but it's more personal preference than anything else really. So first of all, fabric socks. Probably a bit of a controversial one, but I don't think fabric socks are actually that good. When you put them in your shoes, they always bunch up. They're a bit uncomfortable to start with, and they are fairly complicated shapes to make. So these are the things that tend to leak first. There's no, way, no two ways around that. Also, they're the thing that needs replaced first because obviously you're going to wear them out. I think latex socks are a much better solution to the problem than the fabric socks because they are one piece, they don't leak until they break. When you do want to replace them, you can replace them as easily as you know your latex Nexio or the wrist gaskets. I do this, or I could do this, in my house. It's a really easy job. Another one, probably me being very picky, the pocket on the suit. I'm not a big fan to be honest because it's just it's just something that I don't ever use. Apart from the pocket on it, I would say that this suit is pretty much designed in the kind of way of it's everything you need from a suit and nothing you don't need. There's not really any gimmicks, it's as slim down, as trim as possible without losing any functionality. Overall, very happy with the suit. Obviously, I'm a very, very biased person, but you know, I have a full-time job, I have money, I don't need to be wearing IR. Uh, I choose to wear IR because they're a great company and they do great stuff like this. They've got a new suit out for 2018, slightly different colour. They have added some heavier duty fabric on the elbows, the knees and the seat of the suit. I don't think I'm going to get it because I don't need it and um, the suit is still gonna be fantastic for me maybe at the end of the year I'll have some patches on it just to I don't know if there's some wear and tear on the dry suit I might have to put a, a blob of glue on the socks or maybe I'll just change it to the latex socks time to plug immersion research you can buy this suit from www.immersionresearch.eu or .com if you're outside of Europe the best thing about buying stuff from Merchant Research Europe is you're buying it direct from them, so there's no markup for any shops or anything like that. Because there's no markup, it means you can get more for your money. Something that maybe would cost a thousand pounds is only going to be in the 600 to 700 pound region, so you are really getting a good deal. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you don't laugh at me too much. <laughs>